Hey, my name is Courtney Bryant, and I'm a senior at Jordan Matthews High School in Salisbury City, North Carolina. Last year, as a junior, I took my first online class through North Carolina Virtual Public Schools. At first, I was a little scared to take an online class because I was thinking, what if I need help? Who would I go to? There's nobody in my school that can help me. I took the challenge anyway, and now I'm here to tell you about my experience. To access your course, you go to ncvps.blackboard.com. Then click User Login. Once you log in to NCVPS, this is what you will see. On the right, you should have a list of all your courses. I'm currently taking AP Computer Science, which is the top one here, and Music Appreciation, which is the bottom one. To access any of your courses, all you have to do is click on either of the links with the course name. Once you log into the course itself, the first thing you see is the announcements. These announcements are very helpful because it allows the teacher to remind you of assignments that are due, just like in a regular class. Instead of having a teacher in front of you to remind you of everything, you have it written on paper and you can go back to it and see it whenever you need to. Your teacher usually leaves an announcement at least every day to keep you informed on important assignments. The discussion board is a place to interact with your fellow classmates. The teachers usually make at least one forum that allows you to talk to your classmates about things not related to school. This gives you the opportunity to meet new people from the state, see what their views are like, and figure out a new culture. In my experience in the online world, I learned out pretty quick that whenever you're stuck or you need help, the easiest thing to do is ask. The discussion board is the perfect opportunity to do that. Simply post your question in the form and either a classmate will help explain it to you or your teacher will get back to you as soon as possible. This helps not only you learn from your experience, but other people who have suffered from the same problems learn as well. Here's a view of the gradebook. It contains every item that you've completed along with the grade that you received for it. On the right, there's a comment section which allows the teacher to tell you why you received the grade that you received for a certain item. The key to success is to make sure that you keep up with all your grades. If there's a mistake in any of your grades, make sure to email your instructor as quick as possible. This helps him or her to change the grade and fix everything and make it right. Online teachers are just like regular teachers. They make mistakes too. As you can see, I have a 98 in this class. I'm currently taking two online classes through North Carolina Virtual Public Schools, along with five online college classes through the local community college. When I go into college, I will have a total of 15 credit hours starting out. NCVPS opened up the online world to me, and thanks to them, I already have a semester of college finished with. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself and take a risk with online classes. Overall, my experience with North Carolina Virtual Public Schools was very positive. I met new people, heard new opinions, and learned a lot of things that I never would have learned from a regular classroom. If you have any questions about my experience, feel free to email me at the email listed right here. Thanks for your time. Hope you have a wonderful experience.